My name is James Cox. I'm the Chief Commercial Officer for BrightPick. Uh, for those who know, BrightPick is a fully automated fulfillment solution. Uh, using our robots, uh, we're able to automate the order picking, the uh, dispatch, um, the uh, consolidation, and replenishment uh, for each and split case fulfillment. Uh, today, I'm honored to present uh, Mike Smith, Mike Smith uh, from NetRush. He is their senior director of supply chain. So Mike, I'll let you take it away. Next slide, please. So yeah, thank you for the introduction, James. So NetRush is a 17 uh, year old company, as mentioned here. Uh, our DNA really started in retail. Um, and then we made the entrance into 3PL within the last five years, keeping that retail mindset involved. Uh, we primarily operate out of our Kentucky uh, location uh, they see we do about 20,000 orders a day, scaling fast. Um, and we add uh, a lot of value to our customers in both data analytics, advertising, uh, and Amazon and marketplace management. Um, and to the right, just some of the brands that we work with uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. So thank you, James. Some of the uh, challenges that we face, as you can see laid out here, is, um, as you know, the 3PL industry in that marketplace is growing rapidly. And we need to take advantage of that ability to scale fastly, integrate new clients, but as I mentioned, still with an eye towards that retail mindset and how do we merge that client expectation with delivering our 3PL services. Um, so as we begin to align that, uh, we noticed that labor was one of those large bottlenecks uh, that we encountered, along with turnover uh, and some of those things on labor. So as we look towards how do we strategize to solve our labor issues, um, naturally automation was a part of that. Um, how do we do that? Uh, you layer in on top of that, you know, the complexity of 3PL and direct consumer fulfillment, um, you, I think it leads you down the road of an automated solution um, that helps you uh, become more competitive and gain that advantage. Um, we had previously just done a $2 million plus capital expenditure uh, automation project, um, and we learned quite a few lessons from that. And one of them is the partner that we integrate with, uh, really the importance of that integration and the shared cultural values. And uh, we were really happy to find that within the BrightPick team. Um, one of our challenges was how do we scale fastly, integrate new clients, um, but maintain our footprint and not have to grow capital expenditures in real estate um, and also not have to spend large amounts on labor. Um, this solution provided a really dense solution that allowed us to scale fast. Um, just in the last four months or so, our orders are of about 2%, but our overall pick fee is down 7%. Um, so we're able to integrate and scale very fast, but really maintain that quality of labor and how that contributes to the success of our 3PL clients. Uh, one of the good things about this solution is since it's technology-based, a lot of what we're seeing in our new associates is they've, been, they've used technology their whole life. They expect that to be part of the solution. Um, when you, for lack of a better term, kind of dumb down that solution, um, they, they're not as fulfilled in their day-to-day -day job. Uh, we really believe in a lean concept here at NetRush, so we make our associates part of every solution, and they've really enjoyed this. We've had uh, remarkable retention, and really some frontline leaders develop through implementation of this. Thank you, James. Great. I think we're going to show a video now, quick video of what the BrightPick solution is at NetRush. Great, I'll just comment here. So this is the NetRush facility uh, located in Hebron, Kentucky. Uh, we have a very unique opportunity here. Uh, not only are we running the NetRush solution, but this is also where we have our North American Tech Center. Uh, so on one side of the fence, you'll be able to see what we're doing, the new things. And then on the next side, you're gonna see the actual NetRush um, application. So we offer anybody that would like to come see a tour to come see both facilities uh, at once. Um, what you're seeing here is the order management or the order processing uh, for the NetRush facility. Again, if you see in the background, um, it's standard totes. There's no proprietary totes. It's standard racking and shelving, um, very commodity items. Uh, here you're seeing the specific goods to person solution for NetRush. Uh, that was a single, single presentation. Uh, another customer that we have is Mountain Biker, uh, which is in Europe. Uh, this unique uh, goods to person station offers four presentations at one time to maximize the operations. Uh, NetRush is able to do about 200 picks per hour 
So it gives us the ability to do kind of a crawl, walk, run uh, for one good suppression station. Whereas that mountain biker with uh, four different presentations is able to do about 500 picks per hour. Uh, what you're seeing here is the next generation. So again, that crawl, walk, run uh, that we handle is the uh, auto picker. So we started off uh, with a good person solution, our retriever solution for Netrush. Uh, and they have the ability to upgrade that um, as the volumes continue to grow to our auto picker solution, right? Without increasing any additional labor. We are the only commercially available uh, in aisle picking uh, with using an AMR solution in the world. Um, so this was just launched in February this past year. This is our, again, our auto picker. Um, so we'll go to the next slide then. There we go. So again, the crawl, walk, run approach, um, as I discussed, the net rush solution is able to handle uh, 200 picks per hour uh, using one human. Um, we also have that ability to increase that by just adding a few robots. Um, our our solution is very simple in the sense that uh, with some additional shelving totes, uh, we can increase the size of the solution in a matter of days. Um, so there's no need to plan to build your solution a year out uh, or two years out. You can build it for today's need and then continue to increase it. Um, that would be our kind of crawl walk run or crawl walk approach uh, with the goods of person. And then our run approach is gonna be integrating the auto pickers uh, where we can really see some volume at a thousand picks per hour uh, with, the, with the whole system. Um, we have that ability to upgrade the existing retrievers at the goods of person station to the auto pickers uh, when you're ready to do that. Next slide, please. So how do we help improvement uh, with Netrush? Uh, Mike, maybe talk about a little bit about the improvements that you're seeing. Yeah, so like as I mentioned, um, our, our orders, we've been able to scale in 2X uh, our order pool daily. Um, again, while reducing that cost by about 7% per pick. Um, but uh, more, more importantly, um, the ability to scale or bring on dense skew products, this eliminates a lot of that complexity in shelving and racking, um, but it also helps us manage our uh, FIFO and LIFO, especially in the industry we're in, where we do a lot of nutraceuticals and vitamins and supplements, where that lot number and those types of tracing elements are really important. And this really helps us do that. Um, you spoke to the fast development. Uh, I mentioned before we had done a previous CapEx uh, plan. That was about a six month long installation. Um, we did this really seamlessly with your team uh, within about six weeks, uh, really not, didn't think of a lot of footprint, was able to operate simultaneously. And I think that turnover and integration into our workflow was about two weeks in total. Um, so that was really a, a great uh, outcome of that as well. Yeah, well they were- Oh, you were using you were using uh, 3PL Central, which I think is now is extensive, right? Uh, it took too. us a, it, it took us about four weeks to integrate that. You can talk about the experience there. Yeah, no, thank you. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah, so that was the other great thing about it is we when we did our other automation, we had a difficult time some, with integrating with our own WMS. <laughs> um, we had an organic WMS. In this instance, we had an off the shelf uh, WMS solution called Extensive. Um, and they paired with the BrightPick team to really integrate our solution and our data transfers uh, to maximize the efficiency of this. And we found that to be a really smooth process uh, with weekly updates and, and actionable items that I found very beneficial to us in building our training program to integrate this. <laughs> Lastly, the, uh, the lack of CapEx cost or no upfront cost. Um, that was another thing that was really lucrative to us is how we were able to fashion the deal uh, to not really have to realize upfront cost, but really fund this program as we scaled and grew our 3PL and allow it to self-fund. Um, so it was really advantageous to us in that regard as well. And, and it's important to note, BrightPick offers both uh, what we call robot as a service pricing, as well as a CapEx uh, in the market um, in Europe. Robot as a service has been a little more prevalent. Uh, I do believe it's gaining traction here in the US, um, it, as well as with the robot as a service, we're basically gain, guaranteeing your rate. Uh, we're handling all the maintenance, we're doing everything. We're letting you focus on your core competencies uh, while taking care of the automation for you, right? 
And it, and because we're able to uh, implement so quickly and scale so quickly, uh, it really becomes the best solution uh, to get that immediate return on your investment uh, to get automation going in your facility. Again, doing that crawl, walk, run approach. Um, you know, an, an antidote that I'll talk about is, you know, with, with our solution being, you know, six, eight weeks to install, um, many times when you're dealing with heavy automation, uh, you're getting information that was past six months. It's taking a year to implement, right? So now you're working on information that was maybe a year, year and a half old before your automation even starts. In today's changing environment, you need something that's quicker. You need something that's more flexible, something that's easier, something that can bend with you. Uh, Mike, let's maybe talk about the uh, the changes we quickly made uh, on the fly um, with the automation kind of bending around your process, not your process bending around the automation. I know. I appreciate that. Yeah. I think that's one of the really things to uh, that is important to emphasize is just our alignment, not only geographically, but strategically. We, we presented a problem to you regarding like batch picking and multiple uh, skew picking and order picking. And your team dove in, uh, rose to the challenge, figured out how to solve that problem, integrated with our IT team really rapidly and built a solution for us that bolts on very easily um, that we know is going to make us extremely much more successful. And I think our expectation is we're going to be able to 4X um, our throughput now with this solution. And, and, and really, when we first designed the solution, we all got around. We said, hey, this is the design we want. Um, at, at some point, though, we saw a better process or, or Mike and his team saw a better process to change where the pack out stations were going to be. Uh, and he had that flexibility. Uh, we're not stuck. Uh, we can move our furniture basically anywhere you want around the solution uh, to allow you to change what processes. You know, a lot of times when you deal with automation, you're going to deal with it and whatever comes, comes, and you have to change your processes to the automation. Uh, with BrightPick and the AutoPicker solution and, and the good person solution, we're able to kind of flex to what your processes may be today or what they may be in a month after you've started using the, the solution. Yeah. And specifically at that point, we we added a client that brought a, extreme, a, a lot of volume to us. And I think to that point is we needed to kind of change our layout of our floor. But because this wasn't such a rigid system, uh, that fluidity, that flexibility for us to reformat or relay out our floor, which early on in the presentation we saw facility design is a big uh, concern for people. Your, your thing wasn't bolted. It wasn't stuck to the ground. We were able to redesign our facility really nimbly and very quick. And uh, we do that often sometimes here. So that's a good that's a good feature. Great. Mike, you want to go into some of the ergonomics for your staff? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we talked a little bit about how... Uh, the new, uh, an emerging part of the labor market really responds well to technology and expects that technology, the tablets and the goods to person solution and the stations that are set up to interact with associates are really the, we, we find the right mix of both technology, efficiency and interaction with associates. Um, nothing's carried, everything's transported via the robots or a cart. Everything goes directly to a station so we really reduced handling, lifting, carrying, moving, and a lot of that transportation that eats up through the L. Um, <clears throat> also, as we go forward, every, all your 3PL clients want to know, what are you doing to, to better handle our products, to deliver our products better to the customers? Uh, we found that when we introduce our technology solution to our partners and we let them know how we're doing it, how we're integrating it to our workflow, they respond really well to that call for us, that call to action that we have uh, to being more reliant on that technology piece for order fulfillment. Um, not only in reduction of cost, but surety of delivery. Uh, we really are, are positive that the right lot number, serial number, that tracking is all associated with able to do that. And then lastly, um, the density of this is, is kind of hard to explain. When we, when we looked at what, we, what the footprint was of what was delivered versus what the goods were taking up in a previous footprint. We, myself and my boss both looked at us and said, there's no way we're gonna get all of this into that footprint. Yeah. And sure enough, it, it landed in that footprint and we had a lot of extra capacity even within that footprint. So that was kind of one of those light bulb moments for us is wow, not only can we scale in density uh, with dense skews and different things like that, but really that capital expenditure for real estate is, I mean, 
becomes a lot uh, less significant. Where we're able to reach up to uh, 10 feet, um, other AMR solutions might only be able to reach what's on the pallet or you know the, the height of what that human may be. Uh, we do go up 10 feet, which essentially doubles your uh, your your space there. So, um, you know, I guess with 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 NetRush being a great partner for us, uh, we think this is one of the better solutions on the market. Uh, you can see the flexibility, the scalability, and the true uh, fast implementation that we can do to to help you meet your needs, you know, not only today but tomorrow and, and in the future.